Hey, what's up, everyone? It's uh, Pedro uh, in the mix from Counterfeit Chicago at the Flea Club with the Flea Boys, guys. Uh, my boy Darius and uh, Boo from Cash Money Records, guys. So we're gonna be talking sneakers and all that uh, stuff today. What they like, you know, what's hot, what's not, what they skipped out on, you know. But yeah, we'll get back into it. You know, let's get it. Boo. Starting off uh, uh, right here at, uh, at the Flea Club, you know, how, how, uh, what was your inspiration to open up, uh, opening up the shop, you know, like what inspired you guys, you know, uh, to open up such an a awesome location, you know, especially in this side of town, you know, the west side uh, uh, neighborhood of, of Chicago, you know, yeah. uh, what, what inspired you to open up such a, uh, such a sneaker store, you know, like, um, hey, first off, uh, being in hip hop and just that whole culture hip hop and always just being fresh and having a passion for being ahead of the game and stuff like that and then with Jim Shoe he was um, already kind of adapting to the culture about you know how the sneaker business was going and we always just going in the business and be like our own bosses and our own you know create our own way so it was like the best way is to you know make a store and separate ourselves from people that's like you know we come up with you not that like we're better than them or nothing but like we got a bigger business, like, you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. came with us a slick name, and just a lot of ambition and grind and keeping up with the business, you know what I'm saying? That's what we really got really deep in it. And we just start rocking the road, and that's really what inspired us, just to be our own, our own That's awesome. Yeah, I could I could definitely see it in the in the name of Fleet, the Fleet Club, you know? Because, yeah. like, I was thinking on my way here, you know? I'm about to go get Fleet, bro, you know? Like, I'm about to go get, like, you know, extra fresh, you know, for for. <laughs> For the, for the crowd, you know, but no, I, I get I get that where you get that sense from. Uh, what about you, Dan? Uh, what inspired you to partner up, you know, together and make such an awesome uh, establishment, you know, especially in this uh, side of town, you know? I feel like it's probably just like a way out for, really for us to we want to always be our own bosses, and we always want to do something that we enjoy, and we always enjoy, you know, uh, staying fresh, really staying up with the times, you know what I'm saying? Really love music. We love basketball, <clears throat> and she, we love our city, so we just wanted to make an outlet really for both of us, you know? Absolutely, man. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, I know you uh, grew up in uh, the Maywood neighborhood. What was that like uh, growing up? Uh, did you get your Jordans, like, uh, first thing of release, or did you sort of have to, like, run errands around the house to pay for your Jordans, <laughs> or how did you go about Everything. getting your sneakers, man? Everything, man. Like, if I needed some shoes. And my mom couldn't afford it or something, I had to do really anything and everything, like shovel snow, really whatever to get my shoes, but I had to get them that day, you know what I'm saying? We're from Chicago, so it's not a big thing to have them that day, even if you miss school or whatever, you feel me? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What about you, man? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not familiar with, from what neighborhood you are, but if you like to stay, you know where you're from. Okay, okay, they're both from Maywood. How what was that like uh, for you, uh, trying to get your Jordans when you first started off? Yeah, doing whatever I little thing we could do if it really wasn't, um, uh, like, we really couldn't get them. But we knew we was going, nine times out of ten, we knew we was going to get them because, you know, we always did the right thing. We ain't getting, like, too much trouble. We ain't really wrong with the wrong crafts. But we, you know, we knew what was going on and shit, you know what I'm saying? So we just always would be like, man, we got, we got to be the ones to come in here the dead come out. That's the one we, where, they, where they knew. And I know that you going to have them. You know what I'm saying? So that was just our inspiration, just coming through, being fresh. That was our whole, that was just our whole way, you know what I'm saying? Being fresh awesome. in high school, we're all high school. People know that. We ain't just wake up one day, oh, if you're a shoe store star. Nah, this is this Kevin. This is how we are. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, you just like, yeah, it just really is. That's awesome. So I have one more question for you guys uh, before we go to the shelves and start browsing. Uh, what made you guys start your own shoe collection? Uh, I don't think I never really just had like a sh- shoe collection. It's just like I always like grew up enjoying shoes. Maybe some shoe I wanted, this shoe I didn't. But then like, you know, I got a little older and I felt like, man, I always really enjoyed shoes, right? So you were always like a cop to rock kind yeah, of guy? Yeah, cop to rock. I never thought about reselling anything in, but I felt like, you know, it was a good business. Yeah. I just wanted to be a part of that. And that's really how that, did you saw the aftermarket and you yeah, a couple of balls. Yeah, I thought so. Like my first, like KE, I got the um, that Supreme. Yeah, yeah, the Supreme KE, and I made like double the money I paid. And I was like, yeah, I think I could do this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet it was like an overwhelming experience, yeah. knowing the like the fact that you could just double up on your money so quick, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. What about you? Did you uh, do you have a personal collection or were you always like a cop to rock kind of guy like him? Same thing, cop to rock. He was always just a cop to rock it. And, and also on the rap shit, it was like, I'm rocking this one time. And, I'm, and you know it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We meet like the game on like, you know what I'm saying? Really, um, yeah, especially with hot and, and I was like, Man. Yeah, especially with Mark and I saw that it was a business versus just having a group. Who do you look for uh, in style inspiration? Uh, do you have like, uh, like, uh, like, do you look, just look at outfits or do you just sort of throw your, your own outfits? I don't look at nobody for style. You, you get your I own style? I you going with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like to really have on what the next person has. If it's coincidence, I'm going to do it. That's it, what it is. But, nah, I just like to. You like to let people yeah, keep, keep, you know, keep them like guessing? Yeah, you know, it is. Like, I'm going to. You know, small person, so certain things, you got, you got, you know, all of that got to go into your style. What fits your body type, what are you comfortable with, what makes you feel comfortable with, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm confident with them, like I can wear free, I can wear free, I can wear this every day and still get the same amount of love or the same amount of whatever this brand name is. But, you know, I always stuck to it, you know, it's just different, you know, it's coming up. You know, you said pop, rock, and time is not a good, you can't ride, things like that. But the average, you know, youngster didn't know about it. That's because I was so into hip hop. And I saw this man, I was just wearing And that's cool to do when you're a kid, but as an adult, like, I'm not following. But no, I'm But I just said, somebody fresh and flat. You were, you were always a trendsetter there. But this is my uh, alternative section. <laughs> I feel, you know, just. It's just different, colors, different kinds of heat up here. You got the Rockefeller, you got the 97s. You still got Gator Rays, you got the Human Races, you got the Supreme, you got your Yeezys that's killing the market right now. That's true. It's just, it's just what you can do, you know, alternative. I see you're wearing uh, silver bullets. Are you more of a Nike guy or are you more of an Adidas fan? Oh, um, growing up, I was always Nike, 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 Nike. But recently it's changing, you know, because I feel yeah. like the comfort of Adidas is killing the game right now. So they have a lot of people in the in the, in the music industry yeah. uh, doing their uh, doing songs for them, you know, because they're endorsed by Adidas. You know, people such as Big Sean, mm -hmm. Pusha T, yeah. Kanye West, you know, pretty much like all the good music crew, right? How do you feel that they're uh, shifting the game? Do you think that they're giving Adidas the upper hand right now in the market? Because oh. I've overheard that it's like. The resale market is, is held by Adidas right now by like 60%. For oh, real? Really? Yeah. So I how do you mean, feel? I feel, you know, Adidas is gaining. And anybody that's changing with the times, that's going with the younger crowd, you know, trying to get that younger generation, trying to do stuff different, I feel like that's going to win all the time. You know, instead of always just being able to say, not want to change, not want to spend money, stuff like that, you always got to, you always got to change, you know? And if you, got, if you got a fan base, why not? I think it matches. No. Yes. What uh, advice do you give the young crowd uh, right now? They're in the uh, sneaker um, industry. Mm -hmm. What uh, advice do you have to give them in sort of like to keep them motivated into the pursuing what they love to do the right. most? I mean, I feel like if you're determined and you know what you want to do, I feel like if you're just trying to get into it for a quick buck, you're not understanding the game, you don't have a passion for the game, you really shouldn't get into it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if you if you know the long haul, you kind of know what you want to do. You know, you want to take it step by step, and eventually get your own business, whatever you want to do, and make it make it a business for yourself. I feel you just got to be determined and, and, and really just have the have the passion for it. Because if you just want to get a quick buck and you're not really understanding, you're gonna get lost and it's gonna be a waste of time. That's true. That's true. Well, you guys heard uh, both uh, of these. Uh, Flea guys, you know, slice of the Fleet Club. Uh, make sure you get your gear. Uh, we've talked sneakers. We've talked uh, personal background. 
Uh, we talked about what they have, uh, what suggestions they have for our uh, young sneaker enthusiasts uh, coming up. Uh, but yeah, make sure uh, you guys uh, follow their Instagram. So would you mind yeah. giving, giving us your social uh, media? Fleet Club Chicago. That's F L E E C L U B Chicago C H I C H C A G O Fleet Club Chicago. That's all on Instagram. Yeah, we're gonna add the link, guys. So you guys could uh, click on the link. Uh, make sure you guys give them a follow. Awesome individuals. Uh, thanks for having us here today, bro. You, bro. Uh, it's uh, it was a pleasure uh, awesome. seeing you again, bro. Yeah, I'm man. I'm most I'm most definitely gonna come back and yeah. like have some heat for sure, for sure, because I'm just like overwhelmed with all this stuff. I want to take it all home. I'm not even joking <laughs> for real. But uh, a little bit different since the first time you came, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. There's a huge difference. Uh, I mean, I could I could see how how uh, how you you've uh, uh, changed. I've seen how uh, you uh, metamorphosis. Yeah. I see you add like, added a lot of things. I see new additions. You know, the wall is looking awesome. Uh, I could I could really see how much work you're putting into this. I can see how passionate you are about this. Uh, I usually catch you uh, picking up the releases that I'm going for too. So it's always nice to see you at the at the store. You know picking up your fresh pairs so that you could pretty much keep your business up and running you know that's actually pretty cool uh you're one of the persons that actually uh, motivates me into uh, uh keep uh, on going because i feel like your neighborhood uh sort of relates to my neighborhood you know i feel like we have the same background you know because a lot of a lot of the stores that are nowadays you know here in the chicago area uh, for the most part in the north side uh, yeah. north side or whatever uh, or, the, or the downtown area right but uh, i feel like you are doing awesome changing the demographic here right. and letting people get that uh, taste mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, sort of like, uh, you know, like the, the north side, you know, cause, uh, mm -hmm. and like, I feel like, you know, I, I feel like I could um, relate to that because, you know, like, I feel like my neighborhood is so, sort of like yours, you know, I, I yeah. definitely relate to up that. Coming. Yeah, up and coming yeah. neighborhoods, you know, it's awesome. And I feel like, you know, like you inspire, you know, uh, greatness from people, you know, including sure. myself, bro. You know, sure. and I uh, and I just want to thank you for everything that that you've done here for us today. Thank you for having our crew here. Thank you for uh, giving me this amazing opportunity. No doubt that I'm gonna come back. And I'm gonna uh, be bringing you clientele. I'm gonna make sure that they uh, come. Uh, Slide to your shop because it's an awesome shop, bro. The uh, the fact that I learned today that you have uh, you know a, such an awesome partner as well, you know, that's yeah. really really cool, yeah. bro. Like you guys are really inspiring me to do like more things, and I'm gonna continue pursuing what I like, you know, what I love to do yeah. because of you guys. You know, thank, thanks a lot for the opportunity, thank bro. Thank you for having I us, appreciate man. That, bro. Thank you for coming that, through, man. That is awesome, bro. But yeah, yeah guys, uh, this was a. Uh, uh, <laughs> Season one, episode two of Sneaker Cop in Chicago. We're here with Pedro from Counterfeit and 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 the uh, Flea Fan, bro. So make sure you guys give them a follow, guys. Uh, we're gonna add all the info on on the description underneath this vid. Uh, make sure you guys follow all our cameramen on their personal Instagram. All the info is gonna be there, guys. Thanks for having us here, and stay tuned for uh, episode three. Peace. What the fuck is time? Of imagination, you alive. I'ma let them think that they stressing me Smoking all this weed, I can't